Hey, how you doing? This is Dan Land Pro with another tutorial in Telestream Wirecast. What we're going over today is how to create a clock, or uh, whether you want a clock to be on your page to start your show, or you want to give your people time to uh, come and log on. Uh, you might want to time something. You might want to use it with a playlist or something to time the duration or modify duration or show the duration of that particular clip. There's so many things that you can do with a clock. You may be using this for, for sports events, whatever. We're going to show you how to use a clock, how to put a clock on your pages right here in Telestream. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Wirecast, and the first thing we want to do is just say I want to start a show, and I want to have this, we're going to have this as our, um, we're going to have this as our, our background, as our lead-in for our show. So we want to put a clock on here, letting our uh, audience know, or get them time to log in, or get them time to do whatever they have to do. Now, you don't want your clock to be too long, because you don't want, some people have five minutes, ten minutes. It depends uh, if uh, people really want that much time to prepare for your presentation or your show, or whatever it is that you're live streaming or presenting. But... If you had a show where you wanted in 30 seconds, you're letting people know this show starts in 30 seconds. I like to do one minute with something like tutorials, but it depends upon your choice. But anyway, this is how you would implement that clock. So I would click on this particular picture right here, and I would go over here where I can get my goods. And then I would go down here to overlays. As you see, I already got it chosen. So if it was on something else, you just want to go down to overlays. And you see you got a clock in here, a scoreboard. You got all type of tools that you can use in Telestream Wirecast that can help you with this process. Here we want to pick clock. So I don't want the clock that I've been using. I want a new clock because I wanted some new parameters. That clock will show the parameters I use for something else. So we click here. Now you see the clock came up in the middle of the screen. So I can put the clock down at the bottom. I could make the clock bigger. If I want to make it bigger, I would go right here to my little scale tool. And I would bring that clock up. I'm bringing it up so we can see as I change this clock to what it is that we want. As you see, the clock is already operating because it's going by the default uh, uh, parameters in this area here. So if we look at this area here, we'll see, we'll see that we already have some things set in this particular, uh, uh, menu. So you see, you had a date. I can put the date on here. It's Thursday, October 28th. You see, it'll make it pretty much bigger. I would have to bring it down. Uh, so we're not going to do the date right now, but if you want to put the date in, you can have the date in. And you see you have other choices in here. You have the time, the font, the, the face. So I can have a regular face. I can have uh, so many different things. The size, I can change the size right here in this parameter. We have the color. So if I want this to be a different color, I could change to a different color. As you see, we can change that to different colors. Uh, you got so many things. The angle, so if I want different angles, uh, of the I want a shadow so if I want a different angle with that shadow I want that shadow to be white or whatever color I want to pick I'm gonna pick a color that I can use I like this uh, you get to different choices and you see we got different ways that we can do different things inside of Telestream Wirecast as far as this clock but the thing we want to mainly focus on is these parameters up top here and these are the parameters that this is the clock this is down, you see down. If I want to count, I want to count down. This is my countdown, and this is my count up. You see where it says stopwatch? So if I want to time something, uh, a race or something, that would be my stopwatch. So we want our countdown. And as you notice, you can count down, and then you can count two. So you can change this parameter depending on what you want to do. So now if you look right here where it says format, I can have minutes, hours, I can have hours. You, you get some more parameters here. You can just have seconds. It depends on what you want to choose for your countdown. Right now we have our countdown set on five minutes. You see where it says start here. If I click start, you see now my clock starts. You see? And then you can have it where it automatically starts when posted. So it's just so many things that you can do in here as far as your clock. Now I can sit and if I want to change my clock, so say I just did a practice run and I'm not ready to go live, I can just hit stop. 
And as you see, when it stopped, I can resume or I can hit reset. So if I reset, it's gonna go back to that five minutes. Now you see this button here, you can click this button here, which will be automatically start when pushed live. So if I just click that button and then I go live, that clock started without my help. It started automatically. So you can uncheck that and then we can come back to stop, then reset, and now if I go live, I have to hit start if I don't have this but check. So I have to hit start and whatever start in the preview win window will automatically start in the live window. So it's pretty much like uh, when you do, uh, uh, when you do, uh, you want to control your video from the, from the preview window <clears throat> that's live. It's pretty much the same uh, concept behind that. And that's pretty much it. So you can use a clock in so many ways. You'll see sometimes people have a clock down here in the far right corner uh, to give you some time on whatever it is that they want to time. And uh, it won't be as big. I just use big so we can all see the clock in operation. So it's just so many things you can do with a clock. You can do it as, say, you're doing a sports event and you got a halftime show or something. You want to count down that. You might want to count down a timeout. So you want to do so many different things that you can do with the clock. When you're doing a live streaming event of any kind, uh, it doesn't matter what you're doing. So I'm not going to just baffle on. That's pretty much it about the clock. Go in there and play around with some of the parameters, and you'll see that it's a very effective tool to have. So that's what you want to do with your clock. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's how you use a clock. You see it's very simple. There used to be a time where you had to go out and get clocks or you had to go get a template for a clock so I'm glad uh, Telestream Wirecast put that clock in here it gave you the parameters to change that clock so it's a very useful tool when you're doing video or you're doing live streaming or you're doing pre-recorded shows hey my name is Dan Land Pro till next time it's always a pleasure peace